When selecting a monitor for your computer, you're looking for two things, picture quality and screen size. Picture quality is determined by four factors, resolution, brightness, contrast ratio, and response time. The image you're looking at now is made up of hundreds of thousands of individual picture elements, or pixels for short. The sharpness, or detail, comes down to the number and size of the pixels a monitor can display. Monitors use lines of resolution to make up the image on screen. Monitors have a native or fixed resolution. 1600 by 900 is standard for a 21-inch widescreen monitor. A 23-inch widescreen monitor will have a resolution of 1920 by 1080, also known as Full HD because it is the same resolution as a Blu-ray movie. As screen size increases, so do the lines of resolution. Brightness is measured in candles per square meter, or CD forward slash M2. 250 CD M2 is standard. You can find brighter 300, 400, and 500 CD M2 monitors at a premium price. Contrast ratio refers to the difference between light and dark a monitor can display. 700 to 1 is a good minimum. And as you go up in price, you'll find 1,000 to 1, 250 million to 1, and higher contrast ratios. The response time of a monitor comes from how many times a second the screen is updated. If the screen isn't updated fast enough, you will see ghosting or blurring in the image. Response times for monitors run from 2 milliseconds to 16 milliseconds, and the lower the better. 5 milliseconds is a good minimum. There are two types of LCDs used by the majority of manufacturers, TN and IPS. There are several types of IPS panels, SIPS, PIPS, HIPS, etc. But it comes down to this. TN panels are cheaper and have faster response times. IPS panels are much more expensive and have better color with higher response times. If true color reproduction is more important to you than response time, and you have the money, get an IPS panel monitor. If you are more into games and watching movies, save your money and get a TN panel monitor. When you shop for your monitor, if the description or the features don't say IPS, it's a TN panel monitor. If you want an IPS monitor, the description or features will say the type of IPS it uses. There are two different types of backlights used in LCD monitors, fluorescent and LED. Fluorescent is the older type and is the same lighting used in energy-efficient compact fluorescent bulbs for your home. These allow for contrast ratios of between 1,000 to 1 and 100,000 to 1. LED backlights allow for up to 50 million to 1 contrast ratios. These numbers are a little fudged by manufacturers but LED backlights do allow for much better contrast. Screen sizes for monitors range from 17 inches to 30 inches. The larger the screen, the more you'll pay for the monitor. When it comes to the size of the screen, we recommend at least a 19-inch display. A monitor of this size runs between $100 and $250, depending on the quality of the display. The sweet spot for size versus cost is currently a 23-inch monitor. You can get a very good one for around $160. Dead pixels are a problem common to all monitors. It means that a pixel on the screen is either always off or on, and it doesn't respond to the image being displayed. Most manufacturers have a replacement policy for dead pixels. Typically, five or more on a display, and the monitor will be replaced. Some monitors also have smaller outside borders, making them better for multi-monitor setups where you connect two or more monitors to your video card to make your desktop and windows larger and run programs side by side. See the video card component lesson for more on connecting multiple monitors. When choosing a monitor, read reviews and comments from real people online. If possible, find the monitor in a local store and go and look at it. In the end, you should trust your own eyes.